Let's get a check now of the top business news stories. Our business editor, Kate Moody, say hi there, Kate. Hi, Tom. Uh, now, President Joe Biden has dropped efforts to ban uh, a rather popular app that, uh, let's say, President Trump didn't like very much. It's called TikTok. Yeah, he has now revoked the executive order uh, that was issued by Donald Trump. But the current president has launched a new review of technology platforms or apps which could pose a national security threat. Now, last August, the former president tried to block the video app TikTok and messaging service WeChat which are owned by Chinese giants ByteDance and Tencent, respectively, over concerns about how users' data was shared and processed. Walmart and Oracle had been due to take over a large stake in TikTok to allow it to continue operating in the U.S. That deal has since been postponed, along with the order to ban TikTok from American app stores. The dispute was then largely overshadowed by the U.S. presidential election. And earlier this year, the Biden administration asked a court to postpone a legal dispute on that proposed ban, the decision to examine possible national security risks now suggests that Trump's hard line on China and its technology sector is in many ways unchanged. Meanwhile, the U.S. Senate has passed a bill aimed at countering China's influence in the technology sector. It's targeting areas like artificial intelligence, quantum computing and semiconductor microchips. Catherine Viet has the details. The U.S. Senate has approved a bill aiming to boost investments in technology and counter the growing competition from one rival in particular. As a percentage of GDP, we spend less than half as much as the Chinese Communist Party on basic research. If we do nothing, our days as the dominant superpower may be ending. The U.S. Innovation and Competition Act is set to unlock at least $170 billion in funding. It's been described as the biggest investment in scientific research that the country has seen in decades. It includes funding to boost the production of semiconductor chips, an essential manufacturing component. But with $52 billion allocated in the next five years, it still falls short compared to China's $150 billion investment in the field. Both Republicans and Democrats have backed the multi-billion dollar package. This is an opportunity for the United States to strike a blow uh, on behalf of answering the unfair competition that we are seeing from communist China. The bill must now be approved by the House of Representatives. Meanwhile, Beijing has hit back, accusing the U.S. of paranoid delusion and urging Washington to stop promoting the bill and stop depicting China as a threat. The foreign ministry said the bill interferes in its internal affairs and warned that it could damage Sino-U.S. relations. Let's check in on the day's trading action now. A mixed close for the major European indices. Uh, the CAC 40 was up at by about a fifth of a percentage point. Slight losses for both the FTSE 100 and Frankfurt DAX. The European Central Bank will be in focus tomorrow as policymakers give an update on their support for the Eurozone economy. Wall Street is fairly muted as well. The S&P 500 has been floating just under a record. Uh, the big data of the week will be Thursday's consumer price index in the United States. After record inflation in April, investors will be looking to see if that trend continued last month. Moving on to some of the day's other business headlines now. The dieselgate emissions scandal continues. French prosecutors are considering fresh charges against both Renault and Volkswagen as they continue to investigate their use of cheating software in diesel motors. Separately, Volkswagen has announced a settlement with four of its former executives, including its longtime CEO, that will see it receive 288 million euros in compensation. Oil giant Shell has said it will speed up its energy transition after being ordered to slash greenhouse gas emissions by almost half by 2030. In response to last month's court ruling, Shell's CEO said he was disappointed the firm had been singled out, but that it would comply. And authorities in the UK are investigating whether British Airways and Ryanair broke consumer law by failing to offer refunds during the pandemic. The carriers offered rebooking or vouchers, but not all passengers were given their money back, even when they could not lawfully take their flights. El Salvador has become the first country in the world to make Bitcoin legal tender. Other central banks have warned the cryptocurrency is volatile and a risky investment, in part because of the lack of regulation. But the Central American nation has now approved a framework for its use. Laurent Berstecker reports. Taking the leap into the age of cryptocurrency. 
El Salvador's government says making Bitcoin legal tender could help reduce the costs of remittances, which last year totaled $6 billion, 16% of the country's GDP. 6,000 million of remesas that will be able to a better fluidity due to that there will no intermediaries with big commissions. Se imaginan ahorros de entre el 10 y el 20% en comisiones. Es más dinero que viene El Salvador. The new law will allow bitcoins to be used in any transactions, including to pay taxes. The U.S. dollar will remain El Salvador's main currency, and the government will guarantee people can convert their bitcoins to dollars at any time, with an exchange rate determined by the cryptocurrency's market value. President Nayib Bukele, who spearheaded the bill, hopes it can help generate investment, promote tourism and increase financial inclusion in a country where 70% of the population doesn't have access to banking services. Yet the opposition has warned of the high risks that come with the volatile currency. Si a un empleado le pagan con Bitcoin y de repente un día el salario de gana 400 dólares, pero al día siguiente, por cualquier motivo, resulta que ya solo tiene 50 dólares. Bitcoin's value has soared since its creation in 2009 and has wobbled widely in recent years. In May, a single tweet by Elon Musk saw the currency's price drop by 15 percent in just a few hours. Real change is afoot. Uh, it could be the first of many countries. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed. Our business editor, Kate Moody, thank you so much. Let's just take you now 